Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel TechMeet. Today we are gonna see about MapReduce in complete uh, practical section and uh, in most easiest way. Uh, uh, I believe uh, you already discussed about the architecture, the one dot x and uh, name node that are not all the concept. But think is that if you think about as per the client side, okay, data is getting distributed across the nodes. Now that is the last volume of data that is that that part is tackle of road. But thing is that as a client level, if you want uh, if you want to run some action over those data which are distributed across the nodes, then uh, which uh, entity will help you? In this scenario, the map reduce come to picture. The map reduce is nothing but is a programming design model which run in last volume of data, obviously in parallel section and it will act like it will divide the tax in independent uh, divide the things divide the action or divide the work in independent tax and run in those so that is the map review first it will be more clear if i give the practical section if i give the example in the practical section um, and uh, broadly it has a two phases one is map phase and two one is reducer phase um, map phase is just a one to one uh, um, phase uh, one to one uh, information and tra transformation and obviously uh, you know data are uh, distributed across the nodes so that's why map will run in multiple nodes if i say more specifically in the slim nodes uh, then reducer will produce reducer phase it will run in one node uh, after the data agrees and after the shuffle and sort from all the nodes data nodes and it will run in one node it may not be named node but it will run in the one node and each uh, input to the key and reducer will be uh, in my app entries will be key pair value and shuffle and sort in between in between uh, in, in the in between two players shuffle and sort is there so if i go for the example suppose uh, uh, this is the data like this is and is the month wise population is 30 16 18 and 90 in the year is 1990 similar is the uh, uh, these are the year reverse population in the year 91 so in the first phase in the map phase because these data are distributed across the, all the nodes in parallel fraction uh, and, and, uh, um, no, all the nodes so map run in all the nodes where the data are present in the parallel fraction what exactly to do it will count the bytes first uh, one two e is, is a three space is four m is four uh, m is five so according it will count the whole byte structure so let's say it is 8 then whole sentence then 68 then whole sentence so this is the first one to one transformation then after it will extract year population from the m m is nothing but this one and after that it will give the data like 190 comma 67 190 again then 89 then 190 then 90 191 30 in that manner because each repetition will be there 196789 repetition will be there it will be more clear if i go for the practical session so bear with me, uh, bear with me guys and uh, this is the reducer phase obviously uh, it will take the input from the map and uh, in between map and reducer there will be shuffle and sort shuffle and sort is just self discrete what is the meaning of that in way it will be more clear if i go with the practical section after that uh, it will go to the you know uh, the data will come like this to the reducer phase 190 67 89 90 after the shuffle and sort and uh, you know uh, this this 190 191 these are just uh, uh, aggregation of the uh, you know merging of those data in the one other list then after it will to the list and it will give the maximum value. So this is the final output. 1990 is the maximum. 1990 is the And uh, this is just a quick picture to understand that one. Suppose the data are split across the nodes. And uh, these are the slave nodes. Now the map will run each node. Look, each node. Each node. Parallel fraction. Then it will give the data. Uh, then it will support and sort will happen. Then merging will happen. That is, these are all separate separate nodes, but the reducer is happening in one node. Then after the reducer, the main output will come. Is tips application. Okay, so right now we'll go for the uh, application part.
luck with the cloud error. increase the font size so it will be more visible so this is more clear so I already put the data in the cloud error section in our uh, virtual machine so uh, I just want to show what is the data so look this is, this is the data this is nothing but this is the sentence our map reduce job will count the words simple words what is the what, what are the number of the word is there is the words is there multiple times so it will give the count so this is our job and our map reduce will do that one so this is our input okay this is our input right now i'll go for mapper function so in the mapper function there is there will be two function which written in the python we will run this mapper and reducer we will come to know uh, one by one uh, step by step and this is the mapper function i will be going to explain line by line doesn't matter you know the python or not i will explain each line and who do, who, whoever don't know about python just try to understand the algorithm that is also fine when i start the python section you just learn the steps and then come back and uh, try to do this uh, uh, you know uh, programming by yourself so yeah right now just try whoever don't know the python concept just bear with me and just understand the algorithm what exactly is going to flow is doing here uh, exactly what intention of this function intention of this uh, python program so right now Uh, the mapper function output look this is the output 19067 key value pair key value pair repetition will be there so right now input system is fine then for line in the system 16 and this will um, uh, STO standard input so it will take the standard input value 9 is line so what is what does this mean if you go to this one so this one so it will take the uh, let's say it will take the value from the start and input whatever input we are given uh, then it will reduce the it will delete the leading and, uh, and trailing spaces like this suppose the line where these spaces are there look, look these spaces are there if you run line dot strip then spaces will be won't be there so same thing is happened over here so it will take the inputs to input what what inputs to inputs is nothing but this input then it will redo it will uh, it will uh, just delete the leading and uh, trailing spaces for the separate side then as i told here i also shown here look these are the spaces and still so that one does same thing if i go for another time suppose let's say line 2 look it will use the uh, it will delete the, all the trailing and leading spaces so it is done 
now come to the line dot split after the uh, stripping of the leading and trailing spaces it will split the line with the uh, with, by default it is just a space so I'll show you that implementation plot also look right now suppose this is the line we can say this is our data right now if you split it same function uh, same function they have used is a string function so if I run it look it will split the data by default splitting happens by the space there is no data here no uh, value argument here that's why it will take the default space as a splitter so subrat kumar subrat there is a space so the system will understand okay here i need to split then subrat then kumar then das so but nicely it will cut three word over there so similar fashion it will do that one so right now these words this word what this word containing I believe this word is words is containing right now all these steps. I can write it, not an issue. Okay. Words is containing like this. Okay. So right now for words in words similar fashion if I uh, tell you what does it mean for words in okay let's say for word in words look these are the words these are the these are the whole word whole words and this is the individual word word first one then Kumar then Das if you run it It will come as Subrat Kumar Das, but word in words. Okay. Pin, sorry, pin words. Yeah, that's the thing. So now it will come as uh, in a word wise Subrat Kumar. That's simple it is uh, you know passing the data one by one hope this is clear so same thing is happening not nothing a big deal uh, then it is formatting the data in this panel I'll show you that one also for the better clarity yeah I already done that one for words in words again this words contains all the data that's Subrat Kumar Das and this word this word is for the individual word so right now look it is the our uh, oh, oh. when I told it will come as this 190 67 190 89 so that like that fashion our output is there look Subrat then one output Kumar then one count Das is one count okay this is done so this is the mapper function then come to the reducer function reducer function again it will take the input so you know standard input and it will take the input from the mapper after the sample and sort then uh, on anyways uh, yeah, I already explained this strip function now word and count split t again split will happen split will happen look uh, this is the split yeah the, the split will happen by slash t slash t here they are given one second yeah here they are given the argument uh, if you remember previously there was nothing was there so nothing if nothing was there that means default space is a splitter element if there is a split then system will understand okay this is where i can split the word split the sentence into words so similar function the reducer if they will come to the slash t because look here you are given slash t 
Split per data pad because you are splitting the we are storing the data with the space slash t tab. So in similar fashion, the reducer will understand will split it the word in the slash t uh, and slot is not working let's say we'll go for four space so it will split it by the space my slot uh, slash t why uh, i don't know why it is not working but and uh, if you go to the slash t here uh, then uh, so instead of slash t i given four stars four spaces and given the same sport uh, space as a splitter then same value will come let's try this Anyway, it's fine. The people are understand what X is meaning. So yeah. So right now it will split the data. After the splitting, right now the splitting, uh, splitting. Now word is contains subtract count contains equal to one. So now uh, after the splitting this count becomes string so we need to commit to the integer because we need to count the value because some plus operation happened so this count is there then previous word equal to what so this is little a tricky part let me explain this one so previous word count is zero So first of all, uh, first of all, previous word is none and count is g. As per the logic, just the link previous word is what first value will come this one. So previous are obviously none and this is suppose word. Kumar is now word. Word is now Kumar and count is one. So right now, if previous word equal to word, obviously, yeah. So previous word equal to word. So definitely it is not done because previously it was none, and now it Kumar, uh, word is Kumar. So it will go to the else part that this condition not satisfied it is going to the previous word now it will printing the value the previous word and previous count which is nothing but none and zero first time then it will assign the value what is the assigned value previous word we now in the previous word is become word and previous one equal one that means after this printing the operation becomes previous word become kumar and previous count become one okay so this logic de de definitely it is uh, you know, previous word equal to word then previous word equal to word it is satisfying then it will print the data now if this is a loop then it will go to go to the loop once again it will face the data once again so let's say uh, this is the now what will happen Suppose now word is become supra and count become one. So in this case, obviously it will not go to that one because previous word because Kumar and right now go word is supra. So it will go to here. It will be in the data and it will 
assign the data. Now previous word becomes Suprat. Now previous word becomes Suprat. Now previous word becomes Suprat. And count become one previous count. So these are the previous count. Sorry. Yes, previous count. one so right now this is the understanding part right now once again subrat and one comes so in that scenario and right now previous word subrat and previous count is one and corresponding right now word is become subrat same data came, count become 1. So in that scenario what will happen? It will satisfy this condition and the previous count will be previous count plus count. That means this previous count, this previous count should be equal to count which is nothing but 1 plus previous count which is nothing but one total becomes 2 so right now What value will print? The final print will like Suprat 2 because this line previous word and previous count then previous word is there still Suprat here previous word is still Suprat because same value and count becomes increment now so get incremented by 2 and the final output is Suprat Test to sorry comma two. It's just displaying one other things. It's not an issue. So similar function, it will iterate over all the data. Okay, then this is just understanding. We'll go for the practical implementation. So this is my proper mapper and reducer function. So We'll run it first. It so this is my input. This is the data. Suppose uh, this data distributed across the all the nodes. Right now, I I just run the map of function uh, locally. Uh, by Python code to see the output is correctly or uh, correctly happening or not. How uh, how it will uh, how will done? So now uh, what are the input from this? That is this is the input. That is a pipe operation. That it will become so it will act as uh, now the output of this cat is one. Will act as act as input of look. So similar fashion what I explained before every word is count one count one count one count one count count one count one count one okay so right now I uh, before I told that in between mapper and the mm, reducer there is a certain support operation let it start it then again Look, this is just, uh, this is very easy to understand. This can function is the output. input. Uh, if you, if you run it, it will come as a standard input. That is the value will be printed in over here. And this input becomes, this output becomes, uh, the output of this function, which is nothing but I already shown you that it will print the data over there in a sentences story. 
it will act as input this is function then this function will map this value like this each and every word then obviously there is a sorting operation it will sort it and then after the sorting what is the output it will behave as input to this map.py which is not sorry map.py it should be irreducible so people then it's supposed to give our correct data like now look these are the correct so 2 is given 10 times t is given 10 times he is given power time team already present 5 times so this is the final data this this is the data this is the uh, this is the way we want the answer so right now everything is done so but thing is that uh, 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 i already explained uh, that uh, this uh, stfs is written in the scala that uh, it is using the java virtual machine and this is the python code so it will not understand it. so for net we need a one char file which converts with atl as a middleman which you know uh, so that the stfs will understand what exactly this python want to do this python code want to do it will just start the map to this program so for, for that we need a jar file this jar file is present in this location look this is a jar file usually leave hadoop this is a jar file okay and uh, this is the jar file you have to run it and this is the command simple command there is no uh, you know, there is no point of uh, difficulties here hadoop it is the command i will explain the stfc command and next structure this is hadoop because this is for the hadoop and this is jar because this is a jar file to run the command so this is the jar file location simple right now what is the input input is the test story tst the path of the input then output dash will be there output then what is the output result then mapper the mapper function path the reduction the reduce function simple command okay control l go to the root same thing the output should be 4 because already I run that one so right now output result is 4 ok we will run this command The map reduce function will start now. Look, map reduce function started. Job running GOP. I'll show this job also. Don't worry. In the cloud era, I'll show you what this job is. I can show you right now. Look, map reduce job is running. Look guys this job is running so what is the application name 7175 underscore 002 the map is started 0 percent reduce is started but it will be 100 percent soon so 7175 002 look this is the job is running look this is a map reduce type job is accepted final state is not defined it is running if i go inside this is the information related information okay I'll, I'll, I'll in some lecture i'll explain this finals also what are the options here in the cloud also okay so right now 
math is 0% you do it is 0% it will it will over soon now math is 100% you do it 0% This is the running state accepted undefined. Okay, we'll submit it. Running. Okay, seven one. No, it is not finished, so it must be running. It is not slow in the running state. No, it has finished. Okay, so it has finished. So if I show that one, finished. Yeah, sorry, finished. So look, this is the finished succeed. Finished. Finished state. This is your seven and seven point zero zero two application job ID. This is the map root is type root is cloud error any fine so it is now finished and succeeded so right now if you open this where the output is present output is present output directory result 4 so so we need to go to cd home because output path we are given output result 4 output result 4 so cd home ls td cloud data ls cd desktop ls here my code is there in the subject so there the output path is there so right now Okay, in that path only you will be there, sorry. So, cd dot with the data okay okay I should get it not get it okay okay DSS. so right now it's TFS HDFS because it is there in the distributed location result so TFS DFS underscore cat then output folder is number output what is the folder name output direct is output result 4 so output result Sorry, my bad. It should be this one like this. Yep. Okay. 
so such directory output directory is not there okay first ls will do Look, this ls command will list the files I know for present in this folder. Definitely, show it will give cat is just displaying the data because it's a directory. I'm I cannot use cat version. Yes, that was my mistake. So right now, this is the directory structure output result directory. So in directory, we can list the you know files present over there. So right now we have the flight of files. One file is their success for this one, and this is the actual result path. So right now, if I stay with TFS actual result right now, part 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right now, if you go for cat, then it will display the content of that file. Initially, what I did mistake, I just, this is the directory location. I just want to read the content because directly it does not have any content. It has list of the files. So that's why the command should be list file. Anyway, this command I'll describe in my next lecture all the TSTX commands. It will more clear on those lectures. Bear with me, guys. Just understand this is just displaying the content of the files cat and it lets the display the files list. You know, in the directory, a uh, number of uh, files are present in the list fraction like this. So, right now, this is our uh, result path. If I open this, right now, this is the file. I just want to see the content of the file that is our final result. So, that's why I use this cat. Why STF DFS? Because this data is present in the STFS location uh, as a STFS uh, store in the STFS manner, distributed manner. So that's why a normal command will not work. So we need to do STFS DFS command or either Hadoop. So this is the command. So right now, if you do this, definitely it will print the result. same result is there and this is the map reduced job see the same id this is the map reduced job you successfully run this map reduced job and you successfully extract the word count from our input in the distributed location in stfs I believe uh, I have explained more reaches to it uh, so that uh, uh, people can understand and uh, do practice one more time and uh, again I am telling you that this HTA don't bother with this HTFS commands I'll explain my last lecture about all the HTFS commands but right now just for understanding we just try to uh, get it like cat function is just displaying the uh, values or contents of the file it will not apply with the directory that's why I did the mistake over there because that output that it is a directory I was, I was using cat so in, uh, when, when there is a directory we need to list the files inside that one so that's why uh, hyphen ls should be used anyway I'm going to display again uh, you know all the details with TFS commands I think uh, this is it guys and uh, uh, thanks for listening and uh, take care be focused. Thank <laughs> you.